didn't see you there. I was just in the closet. Today we're going to be making shrimp tacos and this is what we're going to need in order to make them. We're going to need whole kernel golden sweet corn, grade A fancy. Only fancy corn allowed. Next we're going to need Goya Rosadas Guisados, which is Spanish for Rosadas Guisados. Next you're going to need tomato and then you're going to need tomato. Onion, because you know, you know what else is like onions? Oh, ogres are like onions. You're gonna need Yucatan guacamole 95% avocado mild, which is Spanish for. You're also gonna need some dank green herb, and this herb goes by the name of cilantro. Some people say it tastes like soap, but those people are wrong. To go with our rosados guisados, you need arroz rico, which is Spanish. And moving on, we need extra virgin olive oil. Only the most virgin of olives are allowed in this oil. So young, so little potential. Next, you're gonna need some lemon juice because next, we need minced garlic. What is minced? Well, when you mince something. You're also going to need con toda confianza es her de salsa verde mild, which is, you'll need this can of things because if we're making tacos, you have to. It's the law. To add some of that flavor, you need to have this hot sauce, which has a nice lady on it. I don't know who she is. I'm not sure if she knows that she's on all these bottles of hot sauce, but next you need this stuff. If you can't find it at your store, it's probably because you live in a place where there aren't any cool people. Next, you're gonna probably need some kind of taco kit in order to put your stuff in the taco. Unless if you can make tacos by hand, but if you know how to do that, then you probably don't need to watch a video. I mean, if you're going for the meme, you can get the Taco Bell version, but if you're making Taco Bell at home, you're going about this all wrong. Finally, we need the flesh of dead sea spiders, also known as shrimp. Because I don't want to get everything super gross, I got the pre-made kind that all you have to do is just peel and, and heat up. Remember, if you don't go this way and you try to peel and do cut off the heads of your sea spiders by hand, you do it wrong, you have to throw everything away. So now we have to peel our dead spiders. And then you gotta go over to the sink and hide my secret sauce. And then we get to peeling. If you don't like touching flesh, why are you watching this? I mean, it's right there. So you just sort of gently peel the skin away from it. Make sure to rip its legs off. It's not using them. Throw it away. Just like all of your hopes and dreams. Then you come back for the tail and make your own homosexual joke here. While you weren't looking, I peeled all the shrimp. That's the magic of cameras. So next, we need to cook our rice. I like to use a rice cooker because I, from all those motivational posters they have in classrooms, work smarter, not harder. Now, I like to use this rice because it says it right there on the bag. It's El Mejor de Puerto Rico. Fun fact, I took four years of Spanish in high school. You gotta have salt when you're cooking your rice. And remember, for maximum internet points, you can reenact a meme. My, can I be one of the cool kids now? Isn't modern technology wonderful? Since we're chopping onions, this is where you play the sad music. Somebody won't. All right, next we have to get all of our ingredients together to make our special sauce for our shrimp friends. Try not to cut yourself. Set your stove to six. What does six mean? What are even numbers? Let's continue. Add onion, the juices of virgin olives. Make sure to, Make sure to say a prayer to the dark lord of cooking. Add some garlic to scare away the vampires. Mix it up. Next, you wanna cut your tomatoes and expose their red, juicy flesh for all to see. That's gone wrong. And now for the sponsored portion of our episode. Today's episode is brought to you by this. This is called a one second slicer. It slices things in one second. You put the thing on the thing and then you do the thing. And then you do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Wow, wasn't that easy? I've saved so much time in the kitchen. Call by yours today at 1-800-555-5555. We now return you to our normally scheduled program. Wow, doesn't that look appetizing? Even though it's just onion. Lower the heat a little bit. So you Prepare your concentrated herb and add it to the recipe to make sure no one ever finds the bathroom. Adding stuff to it, this is what cooking is all about. So keep stirring it, because if you don't, the main attraction here, wow, look at them go. Can't wait to put these inside me. Add lemon juice, because why not? Add your Sazon Goya. 
available wherever, wherever your, your tiny ethnic aisle is at the supermarket. Pro tip, just add this to anything. It will probably make it taste better. Add your delicious beans. Be sure to observe them. You can't read Spanish. They, they have conveniently provided them in multiple languages. You know what they say about beans. The, the more you eat, the more your... Oh, goodness. Here's another cool seasoning you can add. It makes everything taste better. Use it to cover up your flaws. Use mismatched elements to show how rebellious and of the counterculture you are. Much like how trendy hipsters don't wear the same kinds of socks. Filmmaking. Oh look, it's my herb. Time to cut it. Did you know? The war on drugs was started because a bunch of people were super racist. In addition, the war on drugs has probably caused more harm than, it has, than good and caused an entire class of criminals in the United States which have, which, who are incapable of ever getting a normal life. All right, mmm, doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Now let's add some, now let's add some color to this dish. Because just like America, your recipe is better when it has lots of different colors and types of things in it. You know, people wonder why smell o vision hasn't taken off. But they usually think of this. I can think of another reason to not have smell evasion. I mean, who actually wants to smell what's going on in a horror movie? So dank. Is this is this joke still funny? Is it? I don't know anymore. Mmm, that delicious corn. Use your leftover seasoning to make it taste even more taco. All right, let's make some salsa. Use that chopped tomato from our sponsored segment. Add what's left of that delicious rotel. I'm not sure how they pack that much flavor in one can, but they do. Science is magical. Next, add some salsa verde, or as you white people call it, that green sauce that tastes kind of funny. Beautiful. This salsa could be put on your taco, on chips, on anything. But before we do that, we add our nice hot sauce as brought to you by this nice lady. All right, now that you've done making your tacos, enjoy your delicious creation. Now, should I make any other foods? Let me know. Though probably if I do this again, I'll, I'll try to be a little more structured about it. Mucho delicioso.